Good, mo uh, good afternoon, everybody. I was going to say good morning. Good afternoon, everybody. I just came back from, you know, um, this is the second time making a video around here. Uh, basically, I uh, just got back from the usual. Uh, my Juma prayers, a Friday today. Uh, so I just got back from Mushi, Manhattan. And, I'm, you know, as I, I mean, I'm feeling kind of excited and happy at the moment just because, you know, there's been a lot going on. Um, it's uh, kind of like my fourth, fifth time going there. And I'm definitely going to be looking forward to uh, spending the Ramadan time, uh, the iftar and everything with just the different cultural backgrounds. And um, there's going to be a lot, a lot more to share going forward, you know, into the future. Um, purpose of this video that, you know, for today is mainly uh, showing how... Uh, I mean, I mean, I mean, this area here, like uh, Henry Street, and this like closer East Broadway, Lower East Side area. I've done a couple of videos on this on this neighborhood and kind of you know talked more along like displacement and uh, gentrification affecting this local community. Um, one video I made back in um, last year, sometime around the, around like fall of last year, and then the most recent video uh, was around like I guess last month. Somewhere around the the, begin, the beginning or the middle of February of last year, so um, it's always been talking about how the displacement has been affecting um, this particular part of uh, Lower East Side and Chinatown um, intersection. Um, Henry, this is like Henry and Market Street in this area. Uh, it's like literally like right near the corner near um, Smith Houses and KV Knickerbocker Village is not too far from from around here. So purpose of this video is really specifically trying to highlight um, it's when it comes to the parking lots in this block um, and how as part of the local like how the local community has been uh, going through the displacement um, it's also worth talking about how the parking lots I mean there used to be in this area this is this is it like this is the main central parking lot um, in this particular part of Lower East Side Chinatown and of course, you still have the old school uh, laundromats and other shops in this area. Uh, but this main parking lot, this is it. Like this is the main one. And there used to be, um, as I'm gonna show you as I'm walking down the block, uh, I'll be showing you where there used to be a parking lot back in the 70s and 80s. Um, it's kind of document, well documented actually when it comes to like the displacement in this area. Um, and also like, Another thing I want to mention in this video is that, for example, I don't, I don't, I'm a, I myself don't particularly live around here. Like I live more towards Allen and Grand Street, more towards that area. So you know, like it's also showing how, like despite the fact that I may be living in a different part, it's also worth for all of us to really care about how displacement affects our neighborhoods because of how proximity it is. Like, if it's affecting this area here, it's gonna go to uh, Allen and Grand Street next thing you know, and all, all around the, uh, the local uh, communities. So I made some videos recently about like the development that's going on here at 59 Henry Street. So like you can see how like um, now by now it's like the development has gotten a lot worse. Um, it's actually getting higher and higher in terms of the, the local development here um, at 59 Henry Street. So it's a worse situation now. I mean, it's just, you know, the main long term goal, of course, is, uh, you know, now, I mean, we're going into the summer of 2023. Now in this summer, there's gonna be elections for uh, city council. Uh, Chris Marte, uh, for everybody out there who lives around Lower East Side, Chinatown, uh, Battery Park, Lower Manhattan area, uh, make sure to vote for Chris Marte, uh, our current councilman. We're really trying to get the Chinatown Working Group plan. Really research about it, look it up online, and you know, see it for yourself about how, how like, you all can be a part in terms of vandaline and fighting against displacement. So, I'm about to show uh, all of you about, um, there used to be like a parking lot in this particular block. So this area here used to be parking lot back in the 80s. Um, this building is known as the Henry Street uh, uh, Conto, Honto Condominiums. And it was uh, established here back in 1989. So since 1989, this building has been here. This building was supposed to be a lot taller, but due to a lot of the lawsuits and a lot of the major uh, uh, events of the organizing that happened back in 1986, there was like a major lawsuit. Um, and basically that, you know, that's sort of a little bit of a detailed information. I mean, this video is kind of a short glimpse. Um, 
hopefully I'll, I'll be able to do more you know videos to talk to talk more deeply about displacement and uh, I'm also trying to uh, get more people involved in doing in making these video uh, kind of vlogs what's going on in the local neighborhood uh, what's happening in other areas and other places um, so yeah that's the hope and that's kind of like the new thing about this new year here of, of 2023 and uh, kind of a little bit of a new hope so this building has been here since that time and uh, the parking lot that I showed you before um, that's kind of, so that's like the central parking lot now and it's kind of unfortunate and it shows like the effect of displacement uh, and just how like bad it can be um, now it's just like a luxury condominium here uh, there are some like seniors like uh, yeah some seniors who live here so it's not entirely exclusive to the community um, but you know just you know I just got back from my Juma so I just wanted to kind of make a little brief video uh, talking about all of this uh, I'm a little bit tired right now so I'm gonna have to take a little break but um, until next time everybody all right peace